Well, hello, kindred spirits. In this video, we're gonna go through a few rooms in our home. I've got them cleaned up, and we're gonna do a couple spring projects, some table setting, and I wanna show you what we have going on outside here. We got hit with a major nor'easter, and some say it's the worst they've seen, so it was pretty bad. Luckily today, we've already lost about a foot due to melting, but there's still a lot to go. show you a project that I am working on. I wanted to do a little spring table or an Easter table. So I decided to go out and look for just some plain napkins. And then I came across white bandanas and they come in all colors, of course. Now I'm going to say it right now, go for quality bandanas because these were 99 cent specials and I did wash all of them first and they frayed. So I'm gonna have to clean these up and they're also not completely square. But what I did is I was first looking for fabric ink to stamp and I didn't find any at the stores I went to, but I did try this and it says waterproof. So I purchased that. I ended up using this rubber stamp of this cute little bunny and I tried it several ways also with ink markers. And this is what happened when I washed this particular one. I wanted to make sure that it would be color fast. And even the colored inks, once again, I was just playing to see what would work. This is fabric paint right here. And I brushed on the rubber stamp. Even though I like the color of this little brown fabric paint, it didn't have the crispness of a ink pad. So this comes in many colors. I know I can get more, but you could also find the fabric ink pads that I've been told are out and about, just not the stores. So I'm just gonna show you how I did this. And then a little bit later, we'll use it in the table setting. I'm going to let you know right now, I don't like how they came out on these particular bandanas. I think it's a great idea if you find quality cotton bandanas, or of course, quality cotton napkins, linen napkins. These were just definitely worth 99 cents. But going forward, I'm going to show you at least one napkin in a table setting, and then I'm going to show you some other table settings I did with the green and white check that you see there. And I just had some fun doing a table setting, moving a few things around with a lot of my thrifted finds. And this project is pretty self-explanatory. Rubber stamp, a good quality waterproof ink is what I went for pressed it down nice and hard on the fabric. Don't wiggle it around. You want a nice crisp line. I let it dry. I actually ended up adding the little pink nose to the bunny with the pen and these did wash up well. So for this place setting, I just pulled out one of the napkins to show you and I tied a sweet little pink and white checkered bow around my pewter napkin ring there. And then I'm using some Wedgwood plates. I think this is the Husk collection. It's a Williamsburg line. But the rest of the settings I'm going to show you are with this green and white check. And you're going to see that I'm going to add some layers. I'm going to change out the plates. I'm going to change out the centerpiece. And I just had some fun doing this for a spring or an Easter table setting. And this little ornament was gifted to me by Old World Christmas. I'm going to see if there's a link that I can give you, but they sent me three little bunnies and I put them here at the table setting. Okay, now keep watching. This table setting is going to change ever so slightly. It could be the napkin, it could be a dish, it could be just the placement of something. I hope this inspires you to go into your cabinets, grab things that you like, 
set a table, and just enjoy. While I'm still cleaning and organizing and going to be finishing decorating, let me show you what I did with a couple of my collections. I put the flower frogs here in my corner cabinet just on top of a Lazy Susan for now. I'm not sure I'm going to do with those yet. But remember all the dried goods and the natural items I found that are Sugarwoods colors? I put them inside of this light blue jar and now I can look at them more so as art versus just a collection of items I was using for color inspiration. I would take this apart and show you what's in here, but I threw everything in and I like how it looks, so I don't want to take it apart. This whole corner shelf is going to get a do-over, but I was pulling things out of cabinets and playing with the tablescape, so I just put things in there for now. But can you believe the snow? Let me show you some more and what I did outside to save some of our decorative trees. I'm getting ready to go outside and try to save a few trees that look like they're ready to snap. I've got a broom here. Oops, less focus. I have my broom here and we're going for it. I'm not going to be able to film this because I know I'm gonna need two hands. We're expecting about 28 inches of snow. I don't know what's out there right now, but we've got to do this in stages. Well, this stuff is heavy. No wonder the power's out and oh gosh I'm gonna be I don't know how many trees I'll be able to save I can already see a snap in this hydrangea oh boy okay let's see what I can get done Well, that's not good. That's minor though. Looks like it just pulled the hinges off, I mean the screws off. But I'm gonna try to make it over to this tree to save. All right, here's the tree I'm gonna try to save. Hopefully nothing's broken already. I already lost part of my tree up there. We've got the tulip it has been saved, but not that. Oh my gosh, it's cold out. I gotta put my hands away. Well, I do what I could do. I literally can't see right now. I mean, literally, I don't know if this is showing, but my glasses are fogged full of ice. I do what I could do. I did what I could do here. And across the way, what sounded like huge lightning bolt and strike, I got to see a tree after facts. Everything was moving. We lost a tree out there. So very heavy snow. I just got in and you can still hear Ben snow blowing outside. He has done so much out there, but I thought I would show you. Look what I did to the olive green doors. I painted them White River by Benjamin Moore, which is the same as the cabinets. 
and the walls are going to be simply white. I'm on the hunt for a very small petite baker's table that will go in the middle, kind of like a scrubbed pine, but I will wait until I find the right thing. After Ben got in, he actually made us breakfast. He loves making French toast and that's what he made up for us. And we enjoyed a nice warm breakfast by the new fireplace in the kitchen. We're sitting in the kitchen right now enjoying a breakfast that Ben just made and already lost one tree across the street in the neighbor's property. The wind is kicking up and I'm expecting to see another one go soon. Well, I am outside right now. First time I'm viewing it from this angle. I feel so bad for Ben, but what a trooper. He came out and he was scraping off the roof just to help us prevent uh, ice dams. And I'm looking in the backyard there and I can absolutely see that I have lost my Siberian iris. I mean my Siber Siberian crabapple tree. I can see a break and everything is bent over. That was a beautiful tree with all kinds of winding trunks what a shame and then down here we lost another large tree and I can see down the road there's some trees down on the wire so I'm not gonna go that far down oh boy that's one thing about these March snowstorms everything's wet and really heavy but we're gonna have a lot of cleanup here at Sugarwood this spring this tree, though, was huge that broke. I'll be decorating this area just a little bit for Easter, but I wanted to show you something. I walked in here the other day and found this bunny backwards. Now, of course, I just showed the ghost story video and one would think that was a ghost doing it, but no. As soon as I asked Ben, he got a smirk on his face and he started laughing and this is his idea of a joke. So I'm now going to fix this bunny and put it right side out again. There we go. I think those are sweet. I got those at a store, Robin's Egg in Amherst. Well, good morning, kindred spirits. Right now, we are without power. Ben shut the generator off just to check the oil and to give it a rest. 
it has been going now for well over, I'm gonna say 30 something hours. Um, the whole area is just out of power. We have a lot, a lot of snow, and I'm going to just show you here a view. Yesterday we had both snow blowers going, we were shoveling, I was cleaning trees off to try to save them. But what I'm doing right now is looking at fabrics that I think will be beautiful here in the kitchen. What I've decided is I'm going to do a neutral based background, some sort of solid or almost solid, not sure of the color yet. And then I'm going to bring in a lot of pretty colored pillows. And here's the reason why. I first envisioned a really fun buffalo check or something in here. But if some of you remember, I bought the black and apple green plaid chairs that are now in our master bedroom. We had them in the great room. I love them. But I now want to do our master bedroom in a whole different color theme. It could be this cornflower blue. I could bring in my apple greens. This is from Groton House's mood board. I had that and a lot of the greens for the kitchen. And I'm kind of tied to a certain colorway unless I sell those chairs or have them slip covered. And I'm not finding really any slip cover people in our area. It's kind of a dying breed, I believe. So that's what I'm working on right now. That's the situation out front. I think I can open this. This was cleared out this morning or yesterday, our walkway. And I'm gonna have to head back out and try to fix that tree, but there's no way I'm gonna do this walking through it today. I might have to, like I said, put on some snowshoes or I might just have to take my chances. The road's not plowed, so I am guessing something's going on. We could be kind of trapped in here. The area had no power for three days. We were driving around and this one tree crossing the road on wires was not the first we saw like this, which we were having a hard time believing. But we're heading out to dinner to meet my stepson, his girlfriend and her mother. And we were enjoying his birthday. So it was a wonderful evening and we did arrive home to find power, but we did leave battery lanterns on for Willow just in case. Well, thank you for joining me this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye now.